Section 1. The power of a strong start. Have you ever abandoned a book after a dull first chapter? We've all been there. A captivating introduction acts like a welcoming hand, drawing your audience into the heart of your story. It sets the stage, sparks curiosity, promises an engaging journey ahead. But what makes a good introduction? How can you hook your readers from the very first sentence and keep them eagerly turning pages? So, are you ready to transform your writing from ho-hum to extraordinary? Let's dive in. Section 2. Setting the stage introductions for every section. Think of each section of your writing as a mini-journey. Each section needs its own compelling introduction to set the scene and guide the reader. Begin by summarizing the previous section's main takeaway, then seamlessly transition into the new topic by posing a thought-provoking question. For example, imagine you're writing about the benefits of meditation. You've just finished a section discussing the science behind mindfulness. You could transition into the next section about different meditation techniques with an introduction like this. We've seen how meditation can physically alter our brains, reducing stress and improving focus. But how do we actually meditate? What are the different techniques? And which one is right for you? This technique not only improves the flow of your writing, but also makes it more engaging and accessible to your audience. Have you ever noticed how a well-placed question can make you pause and reflect? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Section 3. The Art of Asking Engaging Questions Questions are powerful tools in writing. They act as conversation starters, inviting your readers to actively participate in the unfolding narrative. To truly engage your audience, you need to master the art of asking the right questions at the right time. Effective questions are clear, concise, and directly relevant to the topic at hand. They should spark curiosity, challenge assumptions, or invite the reader to consider a new perspective. Instead of asking, what is your perspective on the socio-economic implications of artificial intelligence? You could ask, will robots take our jobs? The second question is shorter, simpler, and more likely to elicit an immediate emotional response from the reader. Remember, the goal is to spark a conversation, not to intimidate your audience with your vocabulary. What are some questions that have made you stop and think deeply? Share your examples in the comments below. Section 4. Weaving questions into your narrative. Now that you understand the importance of asking engaging questions, let's explore how to seamlessly integrate them into your writing. Questions can serve as powerful tools to captivate your readers and keep them invested in your narrative. The key is to use questions strategically to guide your reader through your narrative and enhance their understanding of the topic. By doing so, you not only provide clarity but also encourage deeper thinking and reflection. One effective technique is to pose a question at the beginning of a section or paragraph to introduce a new concept or idea. This method can pique curiosity and set the stage for the information that follows. For example, you could start a section about the benefits of exercise with a question like, did you know that just 30 minutes of moderate exercise a day can significantly improve your health and well-being? This not only grabs attention but also provides a clear direction for the discussion. Another approach is to use questions throughout your writing to break up long blocks of text and create a more conversational tone. This can make your writing feel more dynamic and less monotonous. By strategically weaving questions into your narrative, you create a more engaging and interactive reading experience for your audience. This technique can transform passive readers into active participants. How do you feel when a writer directly addresses you with a question? Does it make you pause and think? Does it make you feel more involved in the reading experience? These questions can create a sense of dialogue between the writer and the reader. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Your feedback is invaluable and helps create a richer, more connected community of readers and writers. The power of curiosity. Why ask questions? Why are questions so effective in captivating readers? The answer lies in our innate human curiosity. Our brains are wired to seek answers and solve puzzles. When we encounter a question, our minds naturally jump into action trying to find solutions and make sense of the information presented. By strategically incorporating questions into your writing, you tap into this natural curiosity, transforming passive readers into active participants. 
Questions encourage critical thinking, spark debate, and invite your audience to engage with your content on a deeper level. This conversational tone can make your writing feel more relatable and less intimidating, particularly when dealing with complex or challenging topics. What are some of your favorite books or articles that have effectively used questions to engage your curiosity? Share your recommendations in the comments below. Section 6. Answering your readers' questions. Posing thought-provoking questions is only half the battle when it comes to keeping your readers engaged. The other crucial element is providing clear, concise and satisfying answers. Failing to address the questions you raise can leave your audience feeling frustrated and unfulfilled. Answering your readers' questions demonstrates respect for their time and intelligence, solidifying their trust in you as a writer. When answering questions, strive for clarity and conciseness. Avoid overwhelming your readers with unnecessary jargon or overly complex explanations. Instead, use clear, straightforward language that directly addresses the question at hand. Support your answers with evidence, examples, or anecdotes to make them more compelling and memorable. Have you ever read a piece of writing that left you with more questions than answers? How did it make you feel? Share your experiences in the comments below. Section 7. Calls to action. Encouraging engagement. You've written a captivating piece filled with thought-provoking questions and well-researched answers. Your content is engaging and informative, drawing readers in with every word. Your readers are hooked, eagerly consuming the information you've provided. Now what? Don't let the conversation end there. Keep the momentum going. Encourage further engagement by incorporating clear and compelling calls to action throughout your writing. These calls to action can guide your readers on what to do next. A call to action is a direct invitation for your readers to take a specific action, such as leaving a comment, sharing the article on social media, or subscribing to your newsletter. It's a way to keep them involved. By prompting your audience to take action, you transform them from passive observers into active participants, fostering a sense of community and encouraging ongoing dialogue. This interaction can build a loyal readership. When crafting calls to action, be specific and concise. Clarity is key. Instead of saying, tell us what you think, try something like, share your thoughts on this topic in the comments below. This makes the action clear and easy to follow. Additionally, personalize your calls to action whenever possible. Tailoring your message can make it more impactful. For example, if you're writing about travel, you might ask your readers, what's your favorite travel destination and why? This invites them to share personal experiences. What are some effective calls to action you've encountered in your own reading? Reflect on what has motivated you to engage. Share your examples in the comments below. Your insights could inspire others. Section 8. Gathering Feedback. Surveys and Beyond. Calls to action are an excellent way to encourage interaction, but there are other valuable tools at your disposal for gathering feedback and fostering a sense of community among your readers. These tools can help you understand your audience better and create a more engaging experience for them. Surveys, polls and quizzes are all effective methods for engaging your audience and gaining valuable insights into their thoughts, preferences and experiences. These interactive elements not only provide you with crucial data, but also make your readers feel heard and valued. Surveys allow you to gather detailed feedback on specific topics, providing valuable data that can help you improve your writing and better tailor your content to your audience's needs. By analyzing survey results, you can identify trends and areas for improvement, ensuring your content remains relevant and impactful. Polls offer a quick and easy way to gauge your readers' opinions on a particular issue, while quizzes can be a fun and interactive way to test their knowledge and encourage them to learn more. These tools can also spark